You all remember the video of the California man that threw hot tea at two robbers? Then he turned around, drew his weapon, and shot at them? Yeah, I bet you all do. Well, the LAPD just did this to that man. LA criminals came to my home, pointing guns at my chest. After successfully defending my home and my family, and my five-month-old child, California is now deciding to suspend my Second Amendment. It was a quiet evening, and as I was coming home from the gym, the two armed men, masked, hopped over the wall, ran down on me with guns, and the most terrifying part was, my wife and my five-month-old baby were on the other side of that door. In an effort to protect my family, I drew my gun and returned gunfire. As a result of that night, the California government has temporarily suspended my ability to concealed carry. This is an attempt to make me vulnerable at a time that is critical that I maintain my ability to protect my family. They'd rather leave me out there to dry and let my family become a statistic. My situation is unique because it happened at my front door, all on camera. But this happens time and time again all over the country. It doesn't get caught on camera, and people sweep it under the rug because it doesn't behoove their political agenda. The fact is, evil will always exist, but we need our ability to defend ourselves and keep our families safe. Do you guys know the reason why? You're gonna love this reason. It's so good, I'm gonna read it verbatim so I don't mess this up for you. The entrepreneur who is the CEO of a photo studio told Fox News the sheriff's office called him on Thursday, telling him it was due to him yelling at officers. Yelling at officers is why they revoked this man's Second Amendment right. So think about this. Criminals who are known for breaking laws, just like they try to do to this man, who knows what more they were trying to do to this man with his five-month baby at home and his wife. But let's get back to this. The whole reason is because he was yelling at them. This man just went through one of the most traumatic and stressful situations. I, I can't even imagine what it would be like to get into that, but he did. So maybe he yelled at them, but is that really why the LAPD is infringing on his second amendment right? I don't think so. He was very outspoken about the fact that the LAPD was doing nothing to do what? To find these two robbers. And here's the thing about criminals. Do you think criminals are vindictive? Do you ever think that criminals maybe come back to the same place that this person was living? Now, especially knowing that this is national news, that this man is now unarmed because of the LAPD? The LAPD is running and playing a risky game here. If something happens to this man or his wife or that baby, blood is on their hands. Yeah, I said it, it's on their hands. This is ridiculous in every sense of the word because the LAPD couldn't get off their butts to actually do something to try to find these criminals and now they disarm the, the, the man himself that has the only way to defend his family further, they took that away from him. So now he's a, he's a lame duck, just going all over town and everybody knows he's not armed. It's pathetic. The LAPD should be completely embarrassed themselves and they should reinstate his second amendment right immediately, immediately, right now, without delay. Whew, got me all fired up on that one. But here's the thing though, you as a responsible gun owner, you have got to be prepared. And I've said in other videos and I've said before, they don't sponsor me, they don't pay me anything to say this, but USCCA, that's exactly the kind of situation that they're here for. If you're caught in a situation where, exactly like this man was, and then now you're fighting for your right to have your weapon, to, to keep it, one, to retain it, and then not only that, in this case where the government overreaches and completely just revokes it completely. Now, USCCA would have been there to fight before that happened and after. This stuff is gonna be expensive. It's litigated expensive as you guys already know. So get yourself some protection. Get yourself something that not only somebody can speak on your behalf that knows what they're talking about, but can be there for you and try to guide you along the way. And again, I got nothing from them. They don't give me anything. I'm just here to educate you to be as prepared as you can for God forbid something like this ever happen to you.